In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about making a UI tool shop system. So, let's get right into it. Let's start by setting up the basics. For the shop to work, we'll need leader stats with a number value. This is not a tutorial on leader stats, so I'll link a nice one in the description. Briefly however, the script is in server script service, where the function starts when the player joins the game. It creates a leader stats folder, and then creates a number value we'll use as cache. Now, create a folder in replicated storage and name it tools. Get the tools, either your own ones or from the toolbox and put them inside this folder. For each tool, create a number attribute, name it price and set how much it will cost. This will let our future code know how much the tool costs. Yeah. Lastly, insert a remote event into replicated storage and rename it to purchase event. This object allows scripts to communicate, and we'll need two of them. A local script will detect which purchase button has been pressed, and a server script will handle the purchase itself making it exploit proof. You can now start designing your UI. Essentially though, you'll need a frame and some buttons in it. Once you're done, insert a string value into each purchase button, rename it to tool ID and set its value exactly like a chosen tool is named in the tool folder. This will be the ID of an item the purchase button is for. Lastly, insert a local script into the frame and copy my code which I'll explain in a moment. We first create variables for replicated storage and the frame. The script loops through objects inside that frame, filters them to text buttons with the tool ID string value, then detects when one of them is pressed. It fires the remote event and carries the needed tool ID value parented to the pressed button. Now create a script inside server script service, and again, copy my code. We create a variable for replicated storage first, then a function that runs when it receives the fired remote event. It picks up which player fired the event and the tool ID. It then creates a bunch of variables for leader stats, cache that's within it, the tool in the folder defined by tool ID, and its price attribute. Lastly, the script checks if the player has enough money, then subtracts the price from the player's cache and clones the tool parenting it to the player's backpack. And that's it. I hope this video serves you well, and as always, see you all soon again.